What's going on guys, Cecil here. Welcome to the infinite inception of OBS. Like seriously, look at the infinite. It's, I, I kind of want to just go to that, you know, just, just drive through that. That'll be an interesting game if you think about it. Like, can, can someone make this happen? An interesting game or a video, you know, a video or a game where you just go through that infinitely. It just, I feel like it'll be satisfying. And so they'll show you the best settings you could possibly use for OBS recording. So basically OBS is the best recording software you could use. I mean, Streamlabs is for streaming. I'm only using Streamlabs for recording this video because I want to be able to show you the settings in OBS and I I won't be able to mess around with the settings if I'm recording with OBS but generally speaking OBS is the best recording software you could use it's just so simple you can do many things with it and it's so you know it, it, it's so simple and so easy to learn and Streamlabs is the best for streaming so yeah OBS the best for recording and Streamlabs the best for streaming hey look it's me now without yeah, further ado let's get right to showing you the best settings you could use for OBS recording so yeah let's just get right to it so let's head straight to settings I'm at my welcome to the right so that you'll be able to see these tabs right here so don't freak out I just made it to the right for that so in general there's nothing much to be done here in stream that's for streaming the output that's the most important tab you should worry about now streaming that's not what the video is about now recording that's what we're talking about the first thing here is the output mod there is simple and there is advanced you just need to make it advanced because simple is just stupid type keep it at standard whatever recording path is where you want your recordings to be i would suggest you to choose anywhere but c like choose a drive a regular drive in the pc and a folder in it don't don't just put it in the drive right away a folder in it so a drive a folder it that would be good also maybe create a shortcut of the folder in that drive in the desktop so that it will make it easier for you to reach out to your recordings that that will help now generate file name without space who gives a shit about that recording format okay if you use sony vegas to edit your videos use mp4 but if you use adobe premiere i would suggest you to go with flv why is that generally speaking flv is a better format to use than mp4 because if you're recording your game for an example and then uh, you get a blue screen of death or uh, the electricity goes out or the computer explodes or whatever if you go back to the recorded file you will find the file has recorded exactly to the moment where uh, the computer exploded you know so you won't lose any recording progress with flv but with mp4 the whole file will be trash you won't be able to see any of your recording you will just take it and put it in the uh, recycle bin there is no there is no hope. so yeah that's the reason why flv is a better format than mp4 but the problem is flv is not compatible with sony vegas pro so that's why i'm saying don't use flv if you are editing with sony vegas pro and a lot of people love that program a lot of people love sony vegas and i'm one of them and before you say it yes there are ways to convert flv video into mp4 but you're not gonna do that every single video you record you know i mean if you want to do that whatever it's fine it's up to you but it's just annoying to do that every single time you record a video so yeah to sum it up basically use flv if you're using any editing software but use mp4 if you are using sony vegas also not exactly any editing software for flv i mean it's compatible with adobe premiere but whatever software you're using i'm not exactly sure it's not compatible with everyone but sony vegas so just make sure that the software is compatible with flv before you use it moving on audio track keep it on one encoder okay if you're using an amd all right if you're using an amd graphics card go with x264 and if you're using nvidia geforce graphics card go with x264 unless you have a powerful geforce uh, gpu and by powerful i mean at least gtx 1060 so yeah if you have gtx 1060 or higher go with nvidia nvenc uh, x264 but if you have kind of an old geforce gpu or you have an amd gpu whatever amd it is use x264 so yeah i basically use nvidia uh, new x264 so yeah i'll just put it there and let's move on rescale output don't do that rate control leave it at cbr bitrate i keep it at 20,000, but i want you to know that this is an overkill i mean i record uh, in 1080p 60 frames per second or i record the videos to be 1080p 60 frames per second but still 20,000 is an overkill you don't really need to do all that i would say 18,000 is more than enough for 1080p 60 frames per second here's a video with all the capturing resolution you could possibly use and the bitrate level with three different levels in them you can use this table to actually do whatever yes i want the cookies yes i give me the cookies you can use this table to determine what exactly you want to use uh for the bitrate depending on your computer uh, or, or your cpu uh, strength and also depending on the resolution that you want to output your video into i'm gonna put a video to that table in the description below so that you can go and check it out for yourself it's a very useful table it has all the resolutions you could possibly use and it also has streaming so streaming to youtube and uh, capturing video it's amazing streaming to twitch as well if you want that so yeah this website is amazing you can go from the description below okay moving on keyframe interval leave it at two preset i use max 
quality but if your cpu is not that strong maybe leave it at quality the difference between quality and max quality is absolutely like it's barely visible it's barely noticeable so if your computer is not that strong use quality and it will still give you very very good performance it will still give you very good visuals so uh, yeah basically use quality if your if your cpu is not that strong i use max quality but just the difference between them is very minimal profile i use high however you can use main or baseline main is the medium and baseline is the shade one whatever you want to use high is the one i use by the way the thing here is that you need to do trials and errors if you're not sure what what your cpu can handle you can keep using trials and errors to see whether your recording is fine or not the real like you, the real thing that you need to worry about is the performance like if you find some frames dropping if you find yourself lagging definitely try to lower these things a little bit lower lower the preset lower the profile maybe lower the bit rate a little bit it depends on your cpu lower the resolution that you want to use this is all pretty obvious but i'm just telling you that so these are the things you need to lower basically the, uh, the bit rate the preset the profile and the resolution and the frame rate that you're gonna do in the video tab later we're just at the output now so yeah as for me i keep the profile at high let's move on look ahead don't do that look ahead basically is related to max b frames but just make back max b frames at two so look ahead is kind of pointless basically what look ahead does is that it chooses the b frames from zero and the number of b frames that you specify but i don't think it's uh, it's worth it you know i mean you can use it if you want it might improve the experience a little bit it might improve the video quality but i don't think it would be a max b frames is two just keep it at two and look ahead is, is really not that uh, worth it psycho visual tuning keep that on that basically what that does is that it improves the video quality when dealing with fast motion so that's very important when you're playing fast paced games like for example fortnite or uh, you know call of duty apex legends games that has uh, games that have a lot of movement in them you, you're moving fast you know what I'm saying psycho visual tuning actually improves the video quality when you are moving fast in a game so just keep that on it won't hurt gpu make it zero that's basically gpu is for selecting the gpu you want the nvenc to run on that only matters if you have more than one gpu card in your computer which i kind of doubt but if you if you have more than one gpu card you will choose which card you want uh the nvenc to run on but most of us only have one card of gpu to having two cards is just kind of weird so yeah a gpu keep it at zero that's just gonna use the default gpu that you have max b frames basically what these do they improve your image quality but they also consume a lot of your bitrate so basically make it at two this is just a good middle ground it improves the quality but at the same time it doesn't consume a lot of bitrates and doesn't mess up your video you know that's exactly why look ahead chooses between zero and the max b frames that you've selected because that that actually improves the image quality a little bit during fast motion but however just make it max b frames 2 and just deselect that maybe select look ahead during streaming like if you are streaming select look ahead that that might help you a little bit but our recording i don't think look ahead is necessary at all and max b frames is gonna be two in both recording and streaming it's fine okay moving on to the audio basically leave that sample rate at 48,000 hertz that channels make it stereo desktop audio make it default there is no need for you to choose a specific uh, device for desktop audio desktop audio is inside the freaking cpu that inside the computer so whatever it is that you're using it doesn't matter just keep it at default what does matter though is the mic that you're using yes that's the one that you need to specify which mic you're using otherwise you will just find it using your webcam mic out of nowhere and the video will be ruined as you can see i'm specifying microphone yeti x wall don't use the microphone of the stream uh, of the of the webcam and don't use the microphone of whatever the hell that is USB. i don't even know what that oh yeah the, the mic that i have here okay so yeah don't use that i don't want to use that shit and i also don't want to use the webcam mic i want specifically to use the freaking blue yeti that i don't know if you can see it, what this one right there this one I, I don't know if you can see it in the webcam whatever my point is that it's important for you to specify exactly which mic you want to use because if you let it choose at random that's gonna be dangerous and let me tell you they always choose the shittiest one like if, if you give it the freedom it will choose a serious one that, that's just the rule of it so yeah i choose the microphone yeti x whoa edition uh whoa edition is not exactly whoa as whoa whoa no not excitement thing no whoa is world of warcraft it's world of warcraft edition it looks kind of cool i don't know i i you can't see it from the webcam i suppose there it is basically that's exactly what i'm seeing right next to me right here with that exact angle you know it, it's exactly in that angle that's a little bit to the left like it's perfect it's perfect it's like i'm seeing the same exact thing with the same angle both at the same time it's it's actually cool anyways we're done with the audio tab there is nothing else here that matters so moving on the video in the base resolution keep it at the resolution that you're using your monitor at i'm using two 560 
by 1440 so that's exactly what i keep my uh, base resolution at uh, just keep it at the resolution of your monitor and the output resolution keep it at the resolution you want your video to be i want it to be 1080 P. so basically i will use a 1080p don't use more than 1080 obviously 1080 is the known ultimate uh, video quality right there you can use more if you want if you want to record in 4k or whatever but 1080 is the best option really and obviously if you want to use 720 then go with 720 whatever so yeah i like using 1080 so i'll just keep it at 1080 and moving on downscale filter use lanso so basically you'll have a bunch of options here lanso is the best one 36 samples by the way this is one of the options that you can lower down if you wanna if you have kind of a, a weak cpu or something you can lower down to by cubic or you know area it's basically it's from the weakest to the strongest so you can keep lowering down until you get the best performance of your computer i uh, this this is the best one obviously so i keep it at lanzos uh, 36 samples so yeah choose that if your cpu is good that one right there keep it at common fps value because it can change into other things just keep it at common fps value and right here use whatever it is that you want your video to be in the frame rate like if you want 60 choose 60 if you want 30 use 30 don't really use anything else there is no need for you to use anything else it's either 30 or 60 30 is the default for the videos 60 is where you find 60 frames per second right next to it so yeah i go with 60 it's either 60 or 30 don't choose anything else moving on these are the hotkeys that's basically the hotkeys that you could use start recording stop recording i suggest you use these two the same exact button it makes it easier i don't like using them at all but just saying start streaming stop streaming or stop streaming discard delay and leave that one alone don't, don't really mess with it pause recording on pause record there are a bunch of freaking uh, options here there are a bunch of freaking orders that you could just do show minecraft hide minecraft so yeah uh, obs has a lot of ways for you to control but by the way like the best option for me is to just tap out and do whatever you want you know so tap out and do whatever you want especially in recording these things are not that dangerous maybe on streaming you will need to use these things because uh, you know or during stream you don't you can't ex uh, people see everything you do so maybe you don't want them to uh, to see you tapping out or whatever but in recording i will just tap out and do whatever i want i don't really use those but you can use them if you want you can use anything here if you want and moving on to the advanced tab basically process priority i keep it to normal if you want to use high basically high it makes more cpu resources dedicated into obs encoding and obs uh, recording but i just keep it to normal because it has been working just fine with me in normal uh, just use whatever you want if you have kind of a weak cpu just obviously go with high but normal is the better option like if, if your cpu can handle it keep it at normal and as for the video renderer keep it at direct 3d all these things are default except color range i changed it from partial to full but the others are default 709 and mp12 are default just keep them like that but color range i changed it from partial to full partial just kind of limits the level of colors that you can see even though you wouldn't really notice much of a difference between both full is the better option in my opinion and yeah nothing else here matters basically all these things are things that are uh, related to streaming so we're done here that's all about the best options you could use for obs recording i hope you found this video helpful guys uh thanks for watching and i will see you guys later peace out